Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we're discussing how to merge two partitions in Windows 11, a useful skill for optimizing your storage space. Merging partitions in Windows 11 can help manage your storage more efficiently, reduce clutter and gain more free space. Whether you're looking to simplify your storage setup or preparing for larger operations, learning how to merge partitions in Windows 11 is a valuable skill. Before we dive in though, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions, and do please share this video with others who might find it helpful. So, let's get started by exploring the reasons why you should merge partitions in Windows 11. Merging partitions in Windows can be incredibly beneficial for several reasons. By combining partitions, you simplify your storage setup, reducing clutter, and making it easier to manage files. When you merge smaller, unused partitions with larger ones, you gain more available space, which is especially useful if you're running low on storage. Larger partitions are necessary for operations like installing virtual machines or running resource-intensive applications. Merging partitions allows you to create a tailored storage setup that fits your specific needs, similar to what you might do when learning how to merge partitions in Windows 10. Now that we've covered the benefits of merging partitions, let's dive into the practical steps about how to do it effectively in Windows 11. Disk management is a powerful built-in tool in Windows that allows you to manage, create, delete, and merge partitions. It's a versatile utility that helps you maximize your disk's productivity and efficiency. If you're familiar with how to combine partitions in older versions like Windows 10, you'll find this process in Windows 11 is similarly straightforward. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. Press the Windows and R key on your keyboard, then type diskmgmt.msc and press enter. This will open Disk Management, where you can view and manage all of your partitions. Right click on the partition that you want to merge and select Delete Volume. Confirm the action and then proceed. Then right click on the target partition that you want to extend and select extend volume. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the merge. Merging non-adjacent partitions is a bit more complex. You'll need to delete all of the partitions between the ones that you want to merge. So make sure that you back up all of your data before you do this as it will result in data loss. Once the middle partitions are deleted, right click on the target partition and select extend volume to merge the space. Be cautious and ensure that you have all of the necessary data backed up to avoid any loss. If you have unallocated space on your disk, you can easily merge it with an existing partition. Right click on the partition that you want to extend and select extend volume. Then follow the extend volume wizard to complete the process. This method is particularly useful for reclaiming unused space and optimizing your disk layout. Similar to how to combine partitions in Windows 10, these steps will help you efficiently manage your storage in Windows 11. Remember, merging partitions can be a bit tricky, so always ensure your data is safely backed up before proceeding. By following these steps carefully, you can achieve a more streamlined storage setup. Now, let's move on to the second method. Disk Part is a powerful command line utility in Windows that allows you to manage partitions, including deleting, formatting, and merging them. While it may seem complex at first, Disk Part provides a flexible way to control your storage. If you're looking for ways to merge partitions in Windows 11, Disk Part is a useful tool, especially when you need to combine unallocated partitions or manage non adjacent ones. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Type diskpart.exe in the Start menu and press Enter to open the Command Prompt window. This will launch the Disk Part environment where you can execute commands to manage your partitions. Type List Volumes and press Enter. This command will display all available partitions on your system, including their sizes and drive letters. 
Identify the partition that you want to merge and enter the select volume command followed by the partition name. Then press enter to select it. Ensure that you've correctly identified the partition to avoid accidental deletion. Type delete volume and press enter. This will delete that selected partition, making its space available for merging. Be cautious as this step is irreversible and it will result in data loss if not backed up. Finally, type extend and press enter to merge the deleted partition space with another partition. This process is similar to using disk management, but it lacks the visual interface. Follow the prompts carefully to ensure a successful merge. When using disk parts, it's essential to be precise with your commands to avoid any potential errors. While disk part is effective for how to combine partitions, it requires careful handling, especially when dealing with data. Always ensure that your important data is backed up before proceeding with any partition change. By following these steps, you can efficiently manage your storage and learn how to merge disk partitions in Windows 11 using disk part. Now, let's find out how to recover lost data using a wonderful tool. Before you start merging partitions, it's crucial to back your data up to prevent any loss during the process. This is a universal best practice, whether you're working on Windows, Mac OS, or learning how to merge partitions on a Mac. Data recovery tools like Recoverit are essential for safeguarding your files. Visit the official Recoverit website and download and install the software onto your computer. Launch Recoverit and select the storage location where your data was lost. This could be a hard drive, external drive, or even a partition that you've recently merged. Use Recoverit's intelligent scanning feature to search for deleted files. The software can scan deeply to find files that might have been lost during partition merging. Once the scan is complete, preview all of the found files, select the ones that you need, and click the Recover button to save them securely. This ensures that your valuable data is restored safely. By following these steps, you can protect your data and ensure a smooth experience when merging partitions. Remember, backing up your data is always the first step in any partition management task. That's it for today's video. We hope this guide helped you learn how to merge partitions in Windows 11 effectively. Whether you've used disk management or disk part, or you've recovered data with Recoverit, these steps should have simplified your storage management. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe for more tech tips and solutions, and we'll see you in the next video.